Good morning. I'm shooting this video because I think I may have found a solution to a problem a lot of guys are having. If you ever listen to the What's the Scuttlebutt podcast, you know on November 2nd in Fort Morgan, Alabama, we are doing a reenactment for the 75th anniversary of the Tarawa landings. We're going to have um, landing crafts, full-scale invasion, okay, quarter-scale, but hey, for a reenactment, we're calling it full-scale. But the purpose of this video is, a lot of guys are looking for original USMC camouflage ponchos to put in their haversack. A few years ago on eBay, I was able to get this one. It's in great condition, nice and uh, doesn't crinkle, lays flat, still has the original manufacturer stamp on it. It was made by the Walker Canvas Company, June 13th, 1944. I've never worn this because, believe it or not, I've never been rained on while doing a reenactment in Florida. So this primarily is used as a prop or on my haversack. Now last weekend I was up in Bellevue, Florida for the Florida chapter of the Military Vehicle Preservation Society. Mark, it's a Marion little reenactment we did. And there was a vendor there who had a super crunchy, super dry, original Marine Corps poncho. This thing was in such bad shape, it was crumpled up like a ball. It was dry. It looked like an old gym sock or an old towel, if you will. And I have a guy in my unit who's looking for a poncho so that he can put in his haversack for this event in November. The problem was, this thing was so dried out, you cannot lay it flat without worrying about ripping it. And so I went online and looked for some suggestions. Some people said put it in fabric softener. One gentleman said once they're dry, there's no coming back. But I wasn't ready to accept that, if you will. And so I did a little research, and I came across a product called Rejuvenate. It is a leather and vinyl restoration product. And so what I did before you do anything with your original gear, you kind of want to find a sample spot. Now this poncho I got cheap. I mean, we're talking less than 20 bucks. And so I wasn't too worried about causing any more damage to it because it does have holes in it. And like I said, it's super dry. So worst case scenario, I still got a super dry poncho. So last night, I applied some of the spray to this corner. And as you can see, it's still a little dry, but now it folds flat. It no longer stays crinkled up. It no longer holds all the creases like this corner. As you see on this corner here, it's still dry. The folds don't want to come out. It sounds like cardboard. You can see all the wrinkles. You can see where the snaps. And so this morning, I went ahead and I did this whole side of the poncho. And once again, you can see it doesn't sound so much like cardboard. It does in fact fold flat, don't have to worry about tearing. This morning the neck band was so tight you couldn't even move it. Now you can adjust it and actually put the snaps on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this project up. I'm going to reapply to both front and back on this panel here. And you can see this thing is in bad shape, but once again, for the price I got it for, it wasn't bad at all. Now this rejuvenation product doesn't bring it back to original pliability, but I would say it's at least at 80%. But more importantly, it is now at a place where we can fold it properly and attach it to our haversack. You can make it over some coolers and things in your camp that you don't want the public to see. You can probably even wear it if it comes to that. So if you have a Marine Corps poncho that you picked up and it's super dry, you can't fold it, you're worried about cracking, like this corner here. And you can just hear that. It sounds like a grocery store bag. Go on Amazon. They have it on Prime. It's called Rejuvenate. Make it new again. Tagline. Leather vinyl restoration project. Eight dollars a bottle. I have a little less than half a bottle left, but it should be enough to spray both the front and back of this, so we can make this poncho usable again. One thing I wanted to show you with this, because it is meant for a leather couch, um, they tell you on the instructions to spray it to a cloth and then apply it because it really won't dry. 
Because this material is 70 years old, it's super dry and super thirsty, it does in fact dry because like I said, I went ahead and did that site about three hours ago, and it's almost completely dry. When I started it, I did follow the instructions where I spray on the rag and rub it on there, and then shortly realized that's a fool's errand. This thing is too big and it's too thirsty. So feel free just to spray it on directly, and then just rub it in with your rag. And as you do it, it will soak in and make sure you do both sides and make sure you get your corners really well because those are the sides that are going to get snagged on things. But it works. Give it a shot. Let me know if it works for you. So it's the end of the day and I just wanted to add a little end to the video because some of you are probably wondering, well, you haven't had time to allow it to dry completely. Did it start to stiffen up after it dried? I will say some of the cardboard sound did come back, but it is still... 75% softer than it was and it is not holding all the wrinkles that it had and it doesn't feel like it's going to crack when you try to fold it. So here it is at the end of the day. So it still has a little bit of that sound but as you can see you can fold it, you can crumple it, but more importantly now it lays nice and flat. So here's the one that I applied the uh, spray tube and here is my other one and as you can see they both lay nice and flat you can fold them of course this one doesn't have the cardboard sound to it this one still does a little bit but now it folds nice and flat and you can put it on your haversack and don't have to worry about it ripping one other side note um, I had to order another bottle one bottle is not enough to do the whole pack, or the whole poncho for that matter, sorry. It is enough to do three of the four panels front and back. So I've gone ahead and ordered another bottle when it comes in. I will do the fourth panel and then go ahead and use the rest of the bottle to reapply to the whole thing to give it a little more, to give it a little extra moisture into the whole poncho. So I would say for the money it's worth it, for the time it's worth it. So I know some people have tried wool light and they said it works pretty well. You can try that too, maybe a little cheaper. But for what it's worth, the um, product works. So give it a shot. Mm -hmm.